Hello, welcome to our industrial maintenance video series. My name is Mario Bringuero. I'm an industrial maintenance instructor at College of the Sequoias in Hanford, California. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to perform a three-bend saddle correctly, and later I'll demonstrate the process. The first step in bending our three-bend saddle is to select the appropriate bender for the process. The second step in our process is to take a measurement from the known reference point to the center of the obstruction. For the third step, we need to take the math considerations into account. When bending a three-bend saddle, you lose 3 16ths of an inch of shrink per inch of rise of the obstruction. For example, from the known reference point to the center of the obstruction is 24 inches. If the obstruction is 2 inches in height, the measurement would have to be more move forward 3 eighths of an inch or 6 sixteenths putting the center of the obstruction at 24 and 3 eighths. The fourth step in laying out our conduit is to find the B and C marks of it, which is the distance between bins off of the center. If we have a two inch obstruction height and the multiplier is 2.5 on a three bin saddle, that means we would have to have five inches between the B and A bend and the A and C bend to make sure everything lines up accordingly. For the fifth step, we actually begin to bend. We line up the A mark on the center mark of the bend on the bender. After we bend it to 45 degrees to the bottom of the conduit, we can then bend the B and C mark. The B and C mark will be lined up on the arrow at the front of the bend, and they will bend to be bent to 22 and a half degrees. As you bend these, make sure you keep the alignment straight to prevent a dog leg. Now moving on to our demonstration portion, the first thing we need to do is verify our measurements. I've got 24 inches to the center of the obstruction. Once you have the center of the obstruction found, you apply the same math from the previous photographs and mark your conduit. Now just be aware before you mark your conduit, if it's going to be exposed conduit, uh, do not use a Sharpie. Now it's all laid out and it's ready to actually bend. So now that we have our conduit marked, we need to verify our conduit to our bender. We're going to be using half inch EMT, the thin walled tubing. So we need to verify that we're utilizing a half inch EMT bender. So now we can go ahead, those match up, and we put the A mark, which is the center of the obstruction after the shrink, in on the notch, which is the center of the bend on the bender. Once you've got it lined up, it's ready to go and we're going to bend to 45 degrees. With the conduit lined up on the A mark on the center of bend, it's time to put our toe in front, our knee in back, slide, slide over. We're going to bend to 45 degrees to the bottom of the conduit. Okay. Now we lift it up, slide it forward. Now we're gonna bend on the front of the arrow for the B mark. Need to verify that the conduit is in fact straight. Toe in front, knee in back. And we're gonna take it to 22 degrees to the bottom of the conduit, okay? Go ahead, lift it up, pull the conduit out, flip it around, reline it up. The C mark on the arrow, line this up so you don't end up with a dog leg. Make your little vise, toe in front, knee in back, close. We'll take it to 22 degrees. Okay, now it's time to Put it in and see how we did. Now it's time to verify our math and our ability. First thing we do is verify we come off the reference point to the edge of the conduit and that's level. We lined up our A bend over the center of the obstruction and that looks good. Everything looks flat. So I would say overall that's a successful bend. So that's all we have for you in this video. Check out our next video on how to bend a stub 90. And thanks for watching.